Hello and welcome to Real Reviews. Now, this week's reviews, of course, are brought to you by thefilmgordon.com. Experience film through the eyes of a true film addict. Um, I am Tim Gordon, editor-in-chief of thefilmgordon.com. And on this show, we discuss my views of upcoming films. Now, you can also read or listen to past reviews either at thefilmgordon.com or on Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R dot -E com, Film Gordon. Now, this, to this show, we want to discuss I'm Your Woman, which is a drama about a wife who's forced to go on the run after her husband betrays his business partner. Now, the film is directed by Julia Hart, who's following up uh, a film she did last year called Fast Color. Uh, and a screenplay from Hart and her husband, Jordan Horowitz. It stars Rachel Brosnahan, for folks who watched uh, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, um, Orenze Kene, Marcia Stephanie Blake, Bill Heck, Frankie Faison, uh, Marceline Hugot, and James McMiniman. All right, so let's talk about, let's dive right into I'm Your Woman. So. This is a 1970s film, which is kind of ironic because Rachel Brosnahan, for the most part, I've been following her over the last several seasons on the 1950s <laughs> period uh, series, The Marvelous Mrs. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And now she has made another period uh, or has another period project. This one, a 1970s drama that, as I said at the top, is basically, uh, you know, really cut to the chase, very lean. Uh, she's a, a, a wife who uh, has a husband who has sort of a dark, kind of a shady past that even she doesn't really even understand. One day he comes home with a baby and suddenly, they, you know, two plus one equals three, they have a family. Uh, no questions asked. She just raises said baby. Her husband goes off and disappears one night, and that's the last we see of him. We find out as she's now on the run that her husband has stolen money from her business from his business partner, and later on we find out that it gets even more it gets even more intense and worse than that. While she's on the run, she is. Uh, kind of chauffeured by, uh, by another unknown gentleman by the name of Cal, played by Renzi Kine. And he takes her and hides her and protects her as she's trying to care for a baby, not accustomed to being out on her own and really relying on needing somebody to be there. And, you know, given the simple instructions that I'm gonna leave you in this house, I'm gonna go and take care of some stuff. You have to handle this baby and I will be back at some point. Later on, he takes her to a home where you discover that it's his wife, a child, and then there are other secrets that unfold. Rachel Brosnahan, I, I don't know whether she's typecast, but she's really good at playing these characters that are not that independent, that are, are kind of uh, holding on to what I call old school values in the relationship of man and woman. She's always in these relationships, whether it's The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, this project where she is kind of like naive initially. And then as the story evolves, she becomes more assertive, learns more, and has to make more decisions on her own. Um, Julia Hart, whose Fast Color was a film that I really liked that was kind of like about three generations of black superheroes. Um, you know, she really has a knack of kind of portraying people of color in roles that traditionally we don't see. And she does it again with this quiet character of Cal, who, you know, is kind of really monotone, doesn't really raise his voice, doesn't have a lot of expression. But in the things that he says and his actions and what he does, you can tell that he cares and he really has uh, her best intentions uh, at play. Um, as I said, not a lot really here to really strip down, break down, and analyze. The movie is kind of what I call a linear film, very straight line from point A to Z. Uh, you know, woman in trouble. Sorry, naive woman. Naive woman gets in trouble. 
naive woman gets protected, naive woman at some point opens her eyes and understands the circumstances she's in and then must act and take action on with the help of Cal and his family that kind of helps support her in rearing a child that doesn't belong to her in the first place. So I'm Your Woman, 1970s kind of a drama. Initially very slow, kind of picks up a little bit in the second and third act. But I mean, this, this film right here to me doesn't feel as strong as an effort for Julia Hart as Fast Color did. I would give this film like a C plus. Um, I think Brosnahan, I've seen her do this. Uh, and for people who haven't watched her in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, this is kind of a variation of that character, not necessarily the same exact thing. I was looking for a little more in this film, so maybe it's just me. But as I said, I'm giving this film a C plus. Now, you are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to read, read or uh, listen to more of our content, or you can check us out at Spreaker.com. And one more time, I'll spell that out, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com, and that's Film Gordon. Or you can read the content at thefilmgordon.com. And as I tell you in closing every week, please see something good uh, at the movies. And I almost forgot before I got out of here. Uh, this film, I'm Your Woman, opens in limited release on December the 4th. And you can check it out on Amazon Prime on December the 11th. Please see something good at the movies. Uh, this is a film may or may not pique your interest. It's worth your time. I would suggest you check it out anyway. Um, until next time, I'm Tim Gordon with thefilmgordon.com, and we'll see you guys on the other side. You take care and enjoy your evening.